Edward Zebra Boy 787 with a 400 block of Juno. What's up, man? I oh, got a little fucking tire issue there. It's got a little check come on, buddy. All right. I right. did. Uh, going to the Econo Lodge. Okay. Yeah. All right. What, uh, what y'all going on? I just seen you jerk off in there, and I was no, like, what I, are... it started popping on the road right there. So okay. I pulled it off. It's you got any ID? I don't. I left my wallet at, uh, that's... Who else is in the car with you? This is my friend. Okay. Let's go have a seat in the car. All right. If we don't have any ID with us, we'll... That's okay. Have a seat in the car. Anybody else got ID? That window rolled down? Where are we coming from? Uh, Bochita area. Where? Bochita, Oklahoma. Durant area. That's a long ways from here. What are we doing up here? Just hanging out. Nobody in the back seat had ID? That's mine? Oh, okay. Would you like my number? Yeah, please. Okay. What's your name? Okay. I just need her information. Okay. Is that window on the other side rolled down? In the back, yeah. All right, shut this door and roll that window down for me. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Seventy percent. And the last one's gonna
Now it's time to go to work. Well, I turned around on them at the PD. Mm -hmm. They turned off on at Jackson. Mm -hmm. Went up to 8th Street, pulled into a house, and just shut off their lights. Didn't they ever get out of the car. You. Well, I circled around a block, and I came, went around a couple more blocks, and I came back, and they were gone. And uh, whenever I came back, and they were gone, I started just heading south. I caught up to them right up here. As soon as they see me get up behind them, they just started it off in here and threw it in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out why. He already told me they're headed to the executive end. Find out why. Yeah. And if there's anything illegal in the car, I'm gonna try to get consent and then we'll go from there. Okay. So Any, any particular reason? Where are we coming from? Hold on, Mom. Uh, Durant. Coming from Durant? Bochita, Durant, right okay. there. Okay. That's where we live at. Uh, you, uh, you came from the north, though. So that, that's we're not... coming from the city. We went up there to see a friend of ours. Okay, well, that's a little different. Right, right, right. Okay. So, who do you know here in town? Nobody here. We're, we're just Okay, saying, so just... why did you pull into a house over on 8th Street? To check the tire and talk to them, see if they, they, if they could help us out. I mean, we don't have any money to get. You, like that's that. not, that's not your house. You didn't even get out of the car. Yeah, I did get out of the car. I went to the door. There was, I, I drove the block over oh, there, and then you guys, the and then you guys drove off. I saw you. So, I mean, why would you pull into somebody's random house five blocks off the main road? And just, I mean, there was and just uh, pull into somebody's random house and and get out and go talk to them. I mean, I can see where it looks funny, but I mean, there's... yeah, that looks real funny. So, but nobody. Uh, out. But you can look at the tire. The tire's messed up. Hello. Yeah. No, I, mean, I need I need you to send me money so I can get a tire. I need money so I can get a tire. Can I call hey, you back in a minute? I was gonna say, let her let yeah, call friend. her back and let me call you let's back. finish this traffic stop up. Okay. Is there anything illegal in this car? No, sir. Okay. You have a... Can I search the vehicle? There's no reason to. We didn't do anything wrong. That's not a, That's not the answer to the question. It's either yes or no. No. Okay. Because with everything that you're saying, you're coming from Oklahoma City, you pulled off on somebody's house random five blocks off the main road. I don't, the tire's messed up. You can look at it. It's popped. The thread's off of it. Okay, but that's no reason to pull in somebody's house that you don't have any idea who they are. There was, I mean, that's what... There, you passed, what you passed 50 houses between there and there. We were dealing with a tire. So... I don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any great answer for why I did it. I just pulled in there and knocked on the door to see if anybody could help me out. Okay. I don't, All right. I don't, I don't okay. I don't have any idea who that is. Okay, so you say you guys are going to the Executive Inn, right? No, the Econo Lodge. Econo Lodge. Yeah. It's like a mile, All right. Mile well, what are we staying here just today, or what are you going? Going, back going, going somewhere going. else? I gotta get the tire fixed. I don't have a spare. Okay. Y'all have a good night. The sergeant was here. We've been in that car. Yeah. Can't get in there. All of them have cigarettes lit. Yeah, and they just ducking, ducking me the whole way. Oh, he's got a stupid camera. Watch okay. this. Watch this. Seventy percent. Yeah. 
probably about 10 8 from that signal 20 vehicle uh, show me out with a signal 20 male it's going to be in the 400 block of Juno also he's walking upon the traffic stop All right, sir. How we doing, sir? What are we up to? All right. First Amendment protected activity. Where'd you come from? I'd rather not answer any questions. Am I being detained? Well, yeah, you are, because I'm on a traffic stop, and then you're over here walking up on a traffic stop. So, yeah, you're in frame with my work at, of, of uh, doing it, so I want to know what you're doing and why you're over here doing it. It's late at night. And Is that against the law to be out late at night? No, it's not against the law to be out late at night, but it's against the law. I'm on a traffic stop to walk up while I'm doing a traffic stop. I didn't even come close. I'm more than 50 feet away from your traffic So I just stop over here to see what you're doing and what you're, why you're here. And what's your name and badge number? So, are you going to answer that? Is it your policy? Well, if I'm being detained, I don't have to answer any questions without a lawyer present. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not committing any crimes. I don't decide to by myself. I have a fourth member protected right not to do Okay. Something. All right. Have a good night. Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a suspicious vehicle parked in a dark alley, around businesses. Okay, a dark, a dark roadway. I'm telling you right now, buddy. Listen to me. Listen to me. That vehicle is parked on the roadway. I have a reason to stop it. It's, it's on the roadway. It's in a suspicious area around businesses. I'm gonna stop and check it. If you've got a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you. What's your name? You don't need to know my name. Yes, now you're being detained because you're interfering with another one of my deals. So what That's is my it? Track. I don't care. You're burglarizing, trying to burglarize my truck. I did. It's all on video. I have video of every bit of it. What's your name? Do you suspect me? Am I being detained? Yes. What's your name? What crime do you suspect because me? Because you're me? interfering with another one of my That's duties my as an officer. That's my truck. That's my property. I have a right to be okay, so what's your name? You're, what's your name? You're in the area. You're suspicious. You what's your name? Place. You're being detained. What's your name? Take me to jail. What's your name? Take me to jail. What's your name? I'm not doing anything illegal. What's your name? You're being illegal. detained as a suspicious person in the area. Is that, what is, is that, your name? Is that a felony or misdemeanor? Listen to me. Is what is your name? Or what is your date of birth? questions unless there's an attorney present. 
70, 60. I'd like to speak to your supervisor. Oh, I'm calling down here. He'll be down here in just a second. That'll work. Go ahead. Can you come to my location, please? And you still have not identified me. So what's your name? What because your now name? I've been on two stops and you I walked up on me question. both times. So what is your I name? Don't answer questions. Without an attorney present. Okay. To any law enforcement. That's fine. That's my. I, I thought you're being detained. Years. You're being detained you know for because I am conducting another twenty and a truck suspicious a vehicle. Charge. Suspicious vehicle around businesses, okay. and then you come being walking up on me again. Being suspicious, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? It's not a crime. There you go. It's not a crime, so I do not so, need to identify myself. But whenever you come walking up on my stop. That's my truck. I don't know what to tell you. You should have stayed over there where you, I wasn't at until after I was done. You're right. I want to know who it is. I want to know why it's in the area. I don't answer questions. And it's not illegal for me to be out any time of day or night that I want to. What's up in our Well, you guys already ran my plate, so you know my first name. Kenneth. Kenneth. Okay. There you go. Here's the door, okay? We have problems in the And I understand that. Okay, well, let me explain. Okay, and I'll let you talk, okay? We had a burglary over here not too long ago. We had issues with this place right here, okay? We don't know you're connected to this truck. We have problems in this area. We're going to stop and we're going to check the view. Okay, but when I walked up, I asked, are you guys burglarizing my truck? Why would we burglarize your truck? <laughs> well, there's two, we walk up and we make sure two suspicious true. people looking in my suspicious truck. Suspicious people. How you, are you? You're as suspicious as I am. How's that? Just because you're in a police uniform doesn't give you any more rights than I have. Because we're protecting these businesses? I'm not Somebody may be out here burglarizing the these businesses, so we're going to stop I'm and check the vehicle. We're protecting the people, too making sure you guys are being held accountable, okay? And then your attitude... No, my attitude, attitude. Is, is because of you, because you I'm came up on me twice. Here. That's an officer safety issue. When you start walking up on me while I'm doing something else... I was more than 50 foot away from your front. Now you started walking up on me again, though. That's twice. I'm way back there, and I asked, and I announced myself way back there. <laughs> okay, and I announced myself that I'm in a patrol car checking on a vehicle. Which is legally parked on the side of the road. But I can stop and check it for a suspicious Absolutely area. Can. So then when you come and you start getting up on my traffic or up on my I'm call. to my truck. And, you and, 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 and I ask you what your name and date of birth is. I do not. You don't want to give it to me. To you unless I have committed a crime. Okay. Have a good day, sir. I'm done talking to you. Uh, he, he will be here. He's coming. Yeah, we will. We will. Calm down. Shield when he removed freaking 85 percent of our forces, I was pissed. So, oh, I was. They weren't letting any prior service cross train in, in, into any other MOS uh, because they wanted the people coming in rush out of high school. They wanted them to get their primary jobs before they even thought about giving us a, a secondary job. So they civilianized my job and gave me my locking papers. So. So. I couldn't imagine that would suck. Uh, I was pissed. Eight years without a single Article 15, along with Colonel's orderly four times. Uh, I mean, it was just, I loved every day, every bit of the service. I mean, the, the, just the camaraderie, the, I, I never got big into drinking. <laughs> He wants, he wants my supervisor. 
because I'm on a traffic over there with those other people. He comes walking up video on us, and I go contact him as a suspicious person walking up on him. And he doesn't want to talk to me, so I leave, and I come around here. Well, I see the truck, so I start signal 20 the truck, and then he walks up on me again, and I ask for his name. Well, I don't have to give you that, and I'm not talking to you. I want to talk to your supervisor because you're being unruly and blah, blah, blah. So I said, well, I'll call my supervisor down here. So he, he's not leaving until he talks to my supervisor. No, he never would. He won't give it to you. He said, you got my name off the 28. So I said, all right, fine. You can talk to my supervisor. I'd like this officer to identify himself. Uh, I am going to file a complaint against him. Okay. Uh, have you identified yourself? I, I haven't been convicted or been suspected of committing a crime. Okay, so under the Fourth Amendment, I do not need to unless I'm suspected or uh, of committing a crime, have committed, about to commit, or am committed. Well, you are being suspected because let me tell you something you probably didn't know. That business right there has been broken into several times. Okay, this is a public so roadway. So it is, but look at the totality of the circumstances. Okay, let's get to this. Okay, you're out here at night, you're dressed is in it, all dark clothing. Is it illegal? No, it's not. There you go. It is not, I but not it is suspicious illegal. circumstances. Okay, it's suspicious of uh, misdemeanor or felony. What are you talking about? It's being suspicious and misdemeanor or felony. Are you gonna identify yourself? He's already ran my place. That doesn't, that doesn't doesn't prove that's your truck. I gave him my first name, which matches the, the name that came back from running the plate, what which is valid. Kenneth. Kenneth what? That's all I'm going to give. We're telling you that. What was he at when he first seen him? Well, he was over there in that little drive over there where I was on the stop at with this other car. And he walked up and was standing on, right there on the roadway facing that way well then when we got done he just stood there so i was like we was watching him the whole time when we got done i approached him as a signal 20 person standing out in the road okay, now was I so then so then he we went through this whole exact same thing over there and i said okay fine see you later i'm done so i walked drive around here well then i see the truck so i get out and check the truck and then he approaches us again so and then he's way back there Asking why are you guys trying to burglarize my truck? Yeah, asking why we was burglarizing his truck. So. I don't know what you're doing either. Thank you, but you still have to. I'm a citizen. You're a public official. You're required to identify yourself for your policy. Officer Michael Smith, badge 70. Officer Michael Smith, badge 70. And I will be giving this video to your guys' command, to your commander. Perfect. Show them the type of interaction you have with citizens out in public. Be right on. Hey, where you going? I'm... I didn't serve any years in the army to be treated like that. I didn't I treat you any way. I have it on tape. Oh, that's okay. I have it on tape as well. Every bit of it. And, and I'll do an open record for press that for that, for that body camera. There you go. Where do you live? I'd rather not answer any questions. You'd rather not answer any questions. I gave you guys my first name, and that's as far as I'm willing to go, unless I'm, uh, unless I have an attorney present. Okay. All right. Well, they ran my truck. It's valid and clear until 2000. Or we don't know that that's your truck. Well, I, I just let him know. I asked him why he's trying to vandalize or burglarize my truck. I've got the keys to that truck in my pocket. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and tap me down for weapons. I have no problem with you doing that. Okay. I have nothing okay, on down. me. I have nothing on me. Yes, sir. I don't think these pants even have pockets. Or sweats even have pockets. They do. They're not very good pockets. They're not very warm either.
check my hood, I mean, check everything. I don't even have a pocket knife, nothing. Here's my keys. Who's the truck come back to? Hey, yeah, Kenneth. I was up there approving reports. I don't even know how much you're running. Yeah. I don't know. I just. When you walk up on me twice from behind, well, the other one wasn't from behind. This one was from behind while I was looking in the car. He walks back around the corner and walks up on me, and I just, then I said, okay, yeah, you're being detained. Am I being detained? You are now, because now you're suspicious in the area. Your truck's parked over here with businesses, been broken into, so forth. And uh, then he, he wouldn't identify, and yeah. At that point, I was like, okay, I'm done talking to you. And then he goes, no, I want to talk to your supervisor. Okay. He'll complain on me. And, cause I did oh, it. he will. This guy posts stuff all over. He's over there at Mustang PD all the time. Is he? Yeah. He's a, uh, I, I mean, I did get a little bent with him, but I don't like people walking up on me. Hey, look, he got his bike back. All right. He's over here. That place has been broken into. He's got a ladder and everything. I know. That's what I said whenever I walked over here and saw that stuff. But then he's one of the, he comes back up on me and he starts, you know. So. He ain't got nothing better to do, I guess. Cigarette up, but up right there. Up I, 